All right, so we have our third and final season seven teaser trailer. And this one is absolutely epic because it contains one of my favorite shows of all time. So first, let me play this for you real quick and then... Now, if anyone out there is a fan of Rick and Morty, you'll have noticed the middle object is clearly the butter robot that Rick built. So he was so lazy in one episode while they were eating breakfast, he had pancakes and he built this robot for its sole purpose to pass the butter. He literally passes the butter. That's his only objective. And he's so sad when he comes to the realization that that's what he's meant for, just to pass butter. Are you kidding me? But that is the butter passing robot right there in the middle, Rick and Morty collaboration confirmed. Now, of course, if you're an OG of my channel, I've been teasing this for some time now. Every time I get third partied, I say, I'm pickle ricked. So the description of this robot says the following. Results of transportation bot test. Transporting various weaponry, failed. Transporting documents and schematics, failed. Transporting bone modification liquid, satisfactory. No further testing required. So the middle objects have been, in the last two teasers at least, some kind of consumable. So maybe this butter is gonna be a consumable item and they're teasing Rick and Morty. Now on the left, we've got yet another new weapon. And the description of this one says, latest tests show the weapon is highly effective against organic material. Against structures and mobile metallic transportation units, the weapon becomes less effective. Weapon approved for field use. So this weapon sounds like it's gonna be awesome if you hit your shots, but it's gonna be horrible if you shoot against builds. And of course, it does look like another laser futuristic type weapon. I don't know if this one is in Save the World at the moment, but it definitely has that futuristic appearance. Now the object on the right is a bit tricky. So it almost looks like someone's helmet. And then inside the helmet, we can see what appears to be a blooming flower. It's reflecting off the visor of the helmet. So this is what the description says, results of flower protector test. Ability to withstand high impact collision, acceptable. Ability to withstand weapon fire above average. Ability to increase style, exceptional. No further testing required. So this could be a new skin's helmet, or I don't know. I'm not sure what the flower represents. That's an interesting teaser right there. But those are all three of the items in the third and final teaser. A new space weapon, the Rick and Morty collaboration, butter passing robot, and then a visor with a flower in bloom reflected off the visor itself. Interesting. So potentially we have a Superman collaboration, possibly the secret skin. We've got a Star Trek collaboration. We've got a Loki collaboration, and we've got a Rick and Morty collaboration. All of these alien type representations in season seven. I can't wait. This season is gonna be beyond amazing. I hope everyone thoroughly enjoys it. And speaking of that, they've got their announcement reveal trailer already up. Well, it's not up, it's ready for premiere, I should say. So the official trailer premieres in about 15 hours from this video. And the trailer itself is one minute and 40 seconds long. So we're gonna have another cinematic opening, just like we did in season six. I don't think there's gonna be a live event, but a one minute and 40 second trailer, that's pretty good. I'll take that. So that drops at 2 a.m. Eastern time. That's pretty early in the morning if you wanna check that out. So tomorrow I'll have a billion videos up. I don't know what I'll be covering just yet because there's gonna be so much jam packed into this brand new season. I'll have to see what I can get done. It's gonna be a busy day for sure. And I hope everyone enjoys the season. If there's any new trailers or announcements, I will have them up today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.